2023. Islamic clerics urge Nigerians to vote for healthy, honest Pussy Banjo. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. In order, in separate interviews, the clerics agreed that selling votes to the highest bidder or money box is dangerous and it is against Islam. Some Islamic clerics in Sokoto State have lauded the leadership qualities of Vice President Yemi Osibanjo, urging Nigerians to support his presidential ambition. Nigeria needs an experienced, honest, and dedicated leader with signs of good health that would allow him to face the challenges. Abdul Malik Belo Gado, the deputy imam of Gagi Community Mosque, said. Another cleric, Sheikh Bilal Jibal Aikanawi, called on Nigerians to ensure the vote for the most credible candidate in the 2023 poll. Selling votes as to the highest bid of money backs is dangerous and it is against Islam. Nigerians need to choose a credible candidate if political parties fail to choose credible candidates from the primaries for the masses to make their choices during the general elections in 2023, he said. The cleric added, Usiba Anjo is a leader whose excellence in academics covered most disciplines. This is a need for development. His experience in understanding Nigeria's challenges and how to nip them on the board for a unified country is a great asset to Nigeria. I want to advise delegates at the voting APC primaries to shine their eyes and not to vote the wrong aspirant for monetary gains, he said. Amin Obelo Zawiya also advised Nigerians to consider capability in voting for candidates in the 2023 general elections. Hmm. Well, at the end of the day, we're going to see how this unfolds. If it's going to be an Osibanjo or a Tenumbo or somebody else, we are going to find out soon. APC should display all the presidential candidates on their social media platform for their supporters to choose the right candidate for them because so many expired products and ancestors are there. To vote Mr. Developer on Buharism Continuation, Sheikh Badunsa. <laughs> okay. At the end, he will step down fully in the fools. Mr. B, Mr. Peter B is the ultimate. I hope Osi Banjo is not carried away with these deceptive assurances from the tribal and religious addicts. Peter B emerges today as the Labour Party candidate will create a moral burden on every Nigerian. His victory affords Nigerians the opportunity to choose between the old ways and a new narrative which will usher in a new Nigeria. The new Nigeria of our dream is not possible. The choice is ours to make. To make it happen. My household and I will not leave without moral body after the election. So, we shall vote for P2B. Clerics. Is it not the same clerics are courageous to support Buhari? All of them refuse to talk about the killing and hunger in the country. So, they now want to f want us to follow their selfish interests. Okay. We don't go vote any of them. Tinubu, Siba and Joe, Atiku, nothing for them. Hmm. What is honest about this man? He had the plan to call him security all the while and never told his boss Buhari. What is honest about that? Well, do you think he never told him or the boss never took his took his um Okay. Islam has nothing to do with your dirty politics. They can say whatever they want since they can since they since they see their alas but we nothing we will vote for who whoever we want to hmm. okay is he honest if the answer is yes then the dictionary needs to redefine the meaning of honesty hmm. is that why we why we were 
where we are today. <laughs> it's your English self. If yes, then you have to hide your face in sin, in shame, sir. Okay, there is nothing healthy or honest about someone who sees nothing wrong in Buhari's administration. Hmm. He said he wants to continue from where Buhari steps, stops. Okay, if not be Peter will be, then nobody. As simple as that. When Zenobu continues to make such utterances like this regularly, I don't think it's, it's a mistake. What you see is what you get. Utterances like this show the amnesia is really bad. I'm in Nigerian news. I'm in Niger a Nigerian youth. Your PVC has aspired. Nigerians like tweeting on WhatsApp. But I'm disconnected phone numbers from National Electricity Grid. Terimbo criticizes Buhari over Nigerian leaders for poor governance and failed promises. Oh dear. This man is not mentally sound. This is not a joke. Avoid Tinubu and APC if you love your life and you want to have a life. And you want to have a life after 2023. If Tinubu is a Nigerian you then I am still a baby of I'm still a baby of If Tinubu is a Nigerian you then I'm still a baby. If you cannot give a minimum of sixteen hours of work per day in Asarok, you have no business being the president of Nigeria. Broken knee, peeing in public during the meeting are all signs of old age. They are not good, a good signs for a successful president. It means, as president of Nigeria, Senegal will be using adult diapers, which is not a good sign for a successful president. Forgetfulness is what he claimed when he said that voters' card have expired. Amnesia is the last thing we want from a president. Not even Buhari could be cured of amnesia and Sini and senility in London. We are where in London. We are still suffering from Buhari's amnesia and senility. Watch the video. Tremble House are shaken. He has tremors. Parkinson disease is another sign of old age taking its toll. The handwriting is already on the wall. Tremble, please use your old age as a resting period for yourself. Choose to become an honorable elder statesman. So far, none of these presidential experiences have addressed the fundamental issue in Nigeria, renegotiation of Nigeria. Restructure the country now and return to regional government or break up the country. Hmm. This is sad. Well, we are going to see how this all plays out. The APC primaries are yet to be done. Okay, on this note, we've come.